Beneath the serene town of Grindavik in Iceland, a perilous situation is emerging. Recent seismic activity has disturbed the region, forcing residents to evacuate as the earth quivers. Iceland's 100-feet volcano fissure is on the brink of triggering the most dangerous eruption in Europe. Experts hold divergent views on the forthcoming consequences, casting the lives and future of locals into uncertainty. However, this catastrophic event could cast a shadow over Europe in a manner unprecedented in many years, leading to disturbances and pushing the boundaries of human resilience. Join us today as we delve into the impending eruption threat presented by Iceland's 100-feet volcano fissure, anticipated to be the largest in Europe. Grindavik, a beautiful town in southwest Iceland, has been facing a lot of tremors from the ground lately. People are worried that a volcano might erupt soon. Since October 24th, there have been more than a thousand earthquakes in a short time. Things got intense with 800 earthquakes in just one day. The authorities in Iceland ordered everyone to leave their homes quickly because there's a long river of magma about 15 kilometers long, moving underground. This magma river is a big danger so everyone in Grindavik had to go, even though they tried to let people get important stuff from their homes, but it's too risky to go back because the situation is still very dangerous. The tremors and continuous earthquakes have made the town too unsafe for people to live in. Iceland has a history of volcanoes that have changed how the land looks. For centuries these eruptions have affected the landscape and the people who live there. The reason Iceland has so many volcanoes is because of how the Earth's surface is made there. The plates under the ground called the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates meet in Iceland, making it a very shaky and dangerous place. Iceland has faced some really big volcanic eruptions that have made a lasting impact, but Icelanders have always been strong in the face of these natural disasters. They've learned to adapt and survive through tough times caused by volcanoes. The worry about Grindavik's possible eruption fits into this history of dealing with Iceland's volcanic nature. Despite a recent decline in seismic activity in the region, scientists continue to closely monitor the area due to the potential significance of this change. This decrease in earthquakes, even if it seems like a good thing, needs to be looked at very carefully. Scientists caution that the diminished seismic activities do not necessarily signify the absence of danger. The situation remains highly unstable, suggesting that the decrease in earthquakes may indicate a shift in the volcano's operational phase. This alteration could indicate a gradual ascent of magma towards the surface beneath the ground. The vertical movement of molten rock through this channel poses multiple risks. Observations reveal that the magma tunnel is rapidly expanding and bulging, heightening concerns about a potential eruption. To understand the potential developments, experts are drawing parallels between current events and past volcanic occurrences in Iceland. By examining these events, they aim to gain insights into the potential size of the impending eruption and its likely impact. Iceland's history is characterized by significant volcanic eruptions that profoundly impacted both the land and its inhabitants. One of the most devastating occurrences was the Lockheed eruption, which unfolded in 1783. This event brought about changes not only in Iceland but also beyond its borders. A colossal volume of molten lava spewed forth, covering an extensive area of approximately 565 square kilometers. The flowing lava wreaked havoc on farmlands, towns, and fields, rendering them uninhabitable and desolate. Entire villages were obliterated, leaving numerous people homeless. The lava's destructive impact was not the only issue. The eruption released hazardous gases such as sulfur dioxide and fluorine compounds into the atmosphere. These toxic emissions dispersed, shrouding the skies in a dense haze. This noxious cloud extended beyond Iceland, affecting Europe and other regions, inducing weird alterations in weather and atmospheric conditions that caused concerns for people outside Iceland's borders. The poisonous fumes adversely affected crops and vegetation, leading to widespread agricultural failures. Once fertile lands turned barren, 
resulting in a shortage of food that precipitated hunger and starvation among both humans and animals. It is estimated that a significant portion of Iceland's population perished due to the eruption or the ensuing hunger. Another notable eruption was the Hekla incident. Hekla stands as one of Iceland's most active and formidable volcanoes, erupting approximately once every decade. These eruptions have firmly established Hekla's identity as a formidable and revered natural force. Situated in southern Iceland, Hekla has been the subject of numerous myths and legends, often being referred to as the gateway to hell during medieval times. As a stratovolcano, it assumes the shape of a steep cone, towering at an elevation of around 1,491 meters. The juxtaposition of its snow-covered peak against the fiery eruptions highlights the dual nature of Iceland's natural marvels. Despite its striking visual appeal, Hekla carries a history of potentially catastrophic eruptions that resonate throughout the ages. Hekla's eruptions are remembered in Icelandic history for their huge scale and impact, covering vast areas with ash and volcanic debris and changing the landscape for good. A major eruption from Hekla could result in extensive destruction, disrupt air travel with ash clouds, and pose the threat of glacial flooding. So scientists diligently monitor this volcano using advanced technology to interpret its activity and foresee potential eruptions. In Icelandic geological history, the Bartabunga volcano holds a significant place, both feared and respected. Its eruptions have shaped the land and fascinated those who study Iceland's ever-changing geology. One notable eruption that happened in 2014 drew global attention to the volcano, showcasing a breathtaking display of fiery natural forces that left a lasting mark on Iceland's geology. Hidden under the massive Vatnajökull ice cap, this stratovolcano had been showing signs of activity with tremors, indicating a geological event was likely to happen soon. The Icelandic Meteorological Office diligently tracked the increasing activity, preparing for the eruption that seemed ready to occur. On August 16, 2014, the ground cracked open north of Vatnajökull, sparking an eruption that fascinated the world. Similar to the previous volcanoes we discussed, its effects reached far beyond Iceland's borders. The amount of lava produced during the eruption was immense. By February 2015, the lava field covered an area of about 85 kilometers, making it the largest basaltic lava flow in Iceland since the Lachie eruption of 1783. It also released large amounts of volcanic gases into the air. These gas emissions affected the air quality in Iceland and raised concerns about health risks. Internationally, the volcanic gases from Bartabunga's eruption created issues for air travel, but the most destructive incident out of all was the Eyjafjarjökull eruption. During the spring of 2010, Eyjafjarjökull, a glacier-capped volcano in Iceland, unexpectedly erupted, setting off a chain of events with widespread repercussions across Europe and beyond. What initially appeared as an isolated volcanic activity swiftly escalated into a major international crisis. On April 14th, 2010, explosive eruptions shattered the ice covering the volcano, propelling ash and steam high into the atmosphere. The interaction between molten lava and the glacier gave rise to colossal ash clouds. Carried by winds, these ash clouds extended across northern Europe, reaching altitudes frequented by commercial airliners. Concerned about the potential damage to jet engines caused by abrasive volcanic ash, European air traffic control authorities closed airspace over a significant portion of the continent. The closure of airspace left travelers stranded and delayed shipments. This disruption reverberated not only in Europe, but also affected transatlantic flights and destinations far beyond. Airlines reported daily losses in the millions due to the inability to operate their planes. Passengers found themselves stranded in airports, hotels, and train stations, prompting the deployment of additional buses and trains to accommodate the sudden surge of people seeking alternative modes of travel. Determining when it would be safe to resume flights posed a challenge for airlines and authorities, as the ash cloud from the volcano exhibited unpredictable movement patterns. 
All the eruptions that we talked about went beyond just changing the land. They made people think about how Iceland is vulnerable to these forces that shape its unique geology. It also emphasized how important it is for countries to work together to watch out for and handle the risks linked to volcanic activity, as these eruptions often affect more than just one country. Despite the terrible impacts of these eruptions, scientists learned a lot more about how volcanoes affect the world and understood how volcanoes can change the environment, the climate, and human society. This knowledge has been crucial for preparing and dealing with volcanic eruptions all around the world. When thinking about the Grindavik eruption, many things could determine how much damage it might cause. A big part of it is where and how strong the eruption happens. If the eruption is close to where people live, it could damage infrastructure and it could be dangerous for the people. The ash that comes out of the volcano can mess up air travel, closing airports and causing problems for planes flying nearby. Depending on how thick and widespread the ash cloud is, it might even affect flights that go between regions or even continents. The lava that flows out can also wreck buildings, roads, and things like electricity and water systems. If it gets to where people live, it could destroy their homes and other important places. The gases that come out during an eruption can make the air bad to breathe, which is risky for people nearby. Eruptions can also mess up the environment. They can harm plants and animals, and even water sources, making it unsafe to use that water. All these things can affect how people make a living and how the economy works in that area. Right now, scientists are closely monitoring the situation at Grindavik and all signs point to an eruption occurring any day. Yet scientists say it is impossible to predict exactly when this eruption will occur. But there is no cause for panic as Icelandic authorities and the public are highly prepared for such events, and Iceland has one of the world's most effective volcanic preparedness measures. Stay tuned, as we hope to bring you more updates on this situation in the upcoming days. Leave your thoughts about Iceland in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.